Oh, greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, this is not a Bible study, but uh, more of a, well, what to do when Matthew chapter 24 comes to pass, and I do believe it's coming to pass, but uh, I cannot say enough good things about thriftbooks.com, T-H-R-I-F-T-B-O-O-K-S.com. Um, they have books on many, many different subjects. Uh, they've got books on edible wild plants. Then they have encyclopedias of plants that have actual pictures, not just illustrations. Uh, you know, you got different areas with different types of plants. If you live in an area with a lot of water, you'll have water plants um, like we do in Florida. Um, you've heard of cat cattails and water lilies and what have you, you know. But if you're in the mountains, you have different plants than you will uh, than Florida. So they've got all kinds of different books on edible wild plants. And then you've got picture encyclopedia books to identify what they look like. Um, they got books on like Smith's Bible Dictionary. You can get concordances. You can get actually get Bible books like the Bible, you know, and the books are generally uh, about 15% of what they cost new. Uh, their shipping is very fast. Uh, I could order on a Monday and usually by Thursday or Friday, the book's in my hand. And if you order a hundred dollars worth, uh, the shipping's free generally. And I think the most expensive book I bought from them was like 15 or $20. Most of the books I buy are six, $7 at the most. Uh, they got books written by doctors on medical first aid. Uh, they call it mountaineering first aid, wilderness first aid. Uh, you know, there may not be hospitals. Um, they've got books on um, Air Force survival manuals. They've got Army survival manuals. They've got SAS survival manuals. For those of you that don't know it, the SAS is the Strategic Air Services, uh, part of the British Army. They are the special forces of the British Army, and they have a special forces book, uh, which has got a how to survive almost anywhere, from the jungles, uh, tropical jungles, to... Uh, the freezing cold northern wilderness, you know, with uh, first aid and they got edible plants and animals and they got all kinds of stuff. Uh, they got books on weather. Weather forecasting is a pretty good thing to know. I mean, you'd want to know if there was a storm approaching winter or, you know, what have you. But uh, I got to say, thrift books, uh, couple hundred dollars you can have in a quite a library i bought in bibles from them um you know and with all the um food factories and processing plants that have caught fire in the last couple of years and there's over a hundred of them believe it or not and then you've got train wrecks and the one in ohio is only one of a dozen in the last few weeks uh there's been, you know, all these trains are spewing toxic chemicals, uh, but you don't really hear about it on the controlled news, do you? No, you sure don't. So they're poisoning the areas. But, um, you know, it's going to come a time when Christians are going to be hunted down and killed. And, um, you know, when I went to Bible college, uh, I had some Baptist churches that would tell me that, oh, well, if you don't believe in the pre-trib rapture, you're not even saved. Gee, I didn't know Jesus said, uh, believe in me in the pre-trib rapture and thou shalt be saved, huh? Yeah, he didn't say that. I don't think anywhere in the Bible that I've read anyway. So, you know, I didn't know belief in a false prophecy uh, was required for salvation. And yes, the pre-trib rapture is a false prophecy. 
and all those that teach that as an absolute truth are going to be found out as false prophets. And God is very, very st oh, strong, uh, strongly against false prophets. They're going to suffer greatly and deservedly so. You know, I don't mind somebody teaching it. Uh, if they say, well, you know, it's just a theory and, you know, read the book and you'll make up your own mind. But uh, for the most part, churchgoers are too stinking lazy to read. I mean, if they did, uh, they would not believe that the Antichrist are God's chosen people. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you don't know what a Antichrist is, may I suggest you read the first, second, and third chapter of the book of John. Not the Gospel of John, but the book of John. Specifically, uh, da, 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 let me see. Uh, what is it? Yeah, it's in 1 John chapter 2, starting in verse 20. 21, 22, 23. Yeah, if you don't know what an Antichrist is, you know, call your local Catholic church, call your local synagogue, call your local mosque, you know, ask them if Jesus is Christ. And, um, yeah, you'll get an interesting answer. And then you'll know what an Antichrist is. Those that deny that Jesus is Christ, they're waiting for another guy uh, who has a couple of names. The Beast, Man of Sin, Son of Perdition, the Antichrist. Even though there's more than one, there's going to be many. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting time to live in. And we were all picked to live in this particular time period. But uh, I strongly believe that there's going to be famines, just like it says in Matthew 24, uh, whether it is controlled by the weather, by the Lord, or by those in power that want to starve the people like they did in a certain place in um, Holo Mo Dor, Ukraine in the 1920s by the Soviets. Yeah. So, you know, knowing what to get and where to eat in the wild may just be a very, very useful thing one day. So, you know, keep that in mind. A lot of people are either going to get their heads cut off under the Noahide laws. Uh, Noahide laws? What are you talking about? Oh, the seven laws of Noah, you know, the ones that only exist in the minds of the rabbi. Yeah, they don't exist in um, the Bible. Noah was never given any laws. Only in the minds of rabbis do the Noahide laws exist. But uh, according to them, uh, believing Jesus is the Son of God, well, that's blasphemy and is punishable by death. Method of execution, beheading. Uh, where have I heard, where have I read that before? Oh, that's right, it's in the Bible. So a lot of people are either going to get their heads cut off for Christ. Now think about this. Jesus said, if you lose your life for his sake, you'll gain it. And if you save your life in this life, you'll lose your eternal soul. That's the Bob paraphrase, but you get the idea. But um, the thing is, if you do get your head on the guillotine, shut your eyes, shop. When you open your eyes, you're going to be in the kingdom looking at Christ uh, or his kingdom and awaiting the resurrected new body. Yeah, which isn't a bad thing. And getting your getting killed for the faith is a guaranteed ticket to heaven, if you believe the Bible. But pre-trib rapture people don't believe that, I don't think. I don't know what they believe. They believe anything but the words of Christ. Uh, wow, my, pa my Baptist pastor said... You know, and I'm not making fun of Southern people, but uh, I mean, I was born in Kentucky. That was part of the Confederacy during the Civil War. So, you know, but we sound like if you go to Northern Kentucky, you sound like you're from the Midwest and you go to Southern Kentucky and they sound like, you know, Southerners, which they call it the Bible Belt, but uh, they don't really believe it. It's sad, really, when you think about it. But if you die for the faith, guaranteed take it to heaven. But uh, some people are going to go into the wilderness, just like it says in Revelation chapter 12, 
uh, the woman's going to be taken into the wilderness. And I do believe that when the man of sin appears and is stamp standing in the temple, proclaiming that he is God, uh, that's your cue, according to Matthew 24, to flee to the mountains. And I do believe the Lord will provide manna during this time period for his church. And people are going to have to, you know, have their Bible with them and be prepared to never live in the city again, which is not going to be possible. And they're probably going to meet up with small groups of people and they're going to need to tell them, you know, they're going to be asking, people are going to be asking why has all this evil come upon us? Why do they hate us for our skin color? Why are they killing us because we're, you know, white or Christians? You're going to have to tell them. All this evil has come upon us because, well, the West, Europe, UK, the USSA, we have forgotten the Lord. It's going to be a very, very small remnant. And you're going to have to show them. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to deny Jesus to save their skin. Well, Jesus promised us the pre-trib rapture and it didn't happen, so he's a false prophet. Oh, see, the rabbis have been telling us the truth for over about 2,000 years that Jesus is a false messiah. Yeah, that's what they'll be saying. You mark my words. I've been at this game a long time. You know, I've been, you know, I've been a believer for over half my life now. For over 30 years, I've been a believer. And, uh, you know, yeah, and I've been studying them. And by the way, I do have an earned master's degree in the Bible. Yeah, I really do. Baptist Bible College. And I'm not saying that to brag and tell you how smart I am or anything. The only reason I tell you is because I know what the Baptists teach because I went to their college. Not to learn, but to, well, I had to learn what they taught to be able to disprove it. You know, the pre-trib rapture. Oh, I know exactly what they teach. And people say, I am i don't have love. Well, we're not supposed to love false prophets. Matter of fact, the Bible says when a false prophet, uh, false prophecy doesn't come true, you're supposed to kill them, with, stone them to death. And no, we're not talking about CBD and hash oil. No, we're, we're talking about granite rocks or granite, you know, that kind of stone. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there's some really interesting books, you know. Wouldn't hurt to identify edible plants. And by the way, um, pine trees. The inner bark is edible. You can make, you can get vitamin C, which is an essential vitamin. Uh, have you ever heard of scurvy? Uh, in severe cases of scurvy, your teeth will fall out of your mouth. They'll just rot out of your mouth and fall out. Um but you can make pine needle tea. You don't boil the water. You just let it get warm and then stick pine needles in them. Now, there are trees that look like pines. And if you drink that stuff, well, you can get sick and die. So it's very important to know which is which. But there's all kinds of uh, trees that are inner bark is edible. Pine's not the only one. Uh, you know, there were Indian tribes that used to eat that during the winter uh, to survive. Uh, you know, it's just having a good knife, having a way to start a fire with a fire starter, uh, ferrocesium rod, ferro rod, they call them, uh, magnesium rod, you know, with a striker, very important. Matter of fact, you can get a, uh, 500 matches, a match books, a case of them for, uh, for about $8, you know, that would be able to light, you know, few hundred fires. Um, being able to start a fire and having a knife is very, very important. Knowing what to eat, you know, there's cities are being flooded with heathen satanic aliens that hate our guts. And you got to realize anybody that's not saved can be possessed of a devil. Think about it. And every one of them God allows it would be our enemy and want to kill us. You know, it's not very pleasant. But um, yeah. So, you know, keep that in mind. Cities are going to become terrible. One day the power is going to go out, and I do believe the purge is going to happen. And if you don't know what the purge is, that's where they 
you know, round up people and just kill them. Um, yeah. But I think when the power goes out, maybe they'll say, uh, oh, well, whoever the boogeyman is this month, you know, Korea, North Korea, or China, or Russia, or Iran, or whoever, oh, they hacked into our electrical system and shut everything off. Well, they'll blame somebody else for what they're doing, or, or they'll say an EMP, you know. But you got to be prepared. What would you do if the power went out? You know? What would you do if the cities burned? Roaming gangs of uh, heathen aliens wanting to kill you. What are you going to do? How are you going to protect your family? You, you're going to throw rocks at them when they're shooting at you, the AKs? Do you know what's going on in South Africa? Farmers are being, white farmers are being murdered every single day. Yeah. And where are they getting these guns? They're Soviet type uh, weapons, rocket propelled grenades, uh, RPGs, and AK 47s. They don't. You know, they don't make them there in Africa. They don't, They come from somewhere. Who's, who's giving them that? Russia? China? Who? Who's giving them these guns? It's a question you never hear on the news. Of course, they don't mention the farm murders. They don't mention that. People, I am on Odyssey and I'm on Rumble. And, um, you know, who knows? Maybe one day you, YouTube will delete my channel and um, I'm at the point I don't even care anymore. I think I've done everything I can do. Uh, you know, if you send me an email, palmbeachweddings at gmail.com, I will be more than happy to send everybody an SD card. Just send me an SD card. I'll copy everything. Um, so think about it, people. What would you do if there was no more work, no more food in the grocery store? What would you do? How are you going to take care of your family? Think about it. It's coming. And I don't claim to be a prophet, but I see I, I, there's some dreams I don't even tell people about. I think the Lord's showing me stuff, but I, I, I don't claim to be a prophet, but I do believe that's what he's been showing me. And they're not, it's not pretty, Lord, uh, people. What the Lord's showing, I believe what the Lord's showing me is not pretty. So, all right, well, uh, take a look at these books and, uh, you know, uh, Thrift Books is a lot better than Amazon, believe me. So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.